Hi friends, in a previous video we built an Apache Camel Hello World application. We use the Apache Camel file component to transfer file from one folder to another. In this tutorial we'll integrate ActiveMQ and Apache Camel. For this purpose, we'll make use of the Apache Camel JMS component. Also, we'll split the file stored at a particular location and then send these, uh, this splitted file to the ActiveMQ queue. So, let's begin. First, we'll have to download the ActiveMQ release from their website. We'll go in Google just type download ActiveMQ go to the latest release and download this zip file I have downloaded the zip file here and then unzip this file go to the bin folder Win64 and start the ActiveMQ it will get started now go to your web browser and type here localhost 8161 here we will see the ActiveMQ homepage. Go to Manage ActiveMQ Broker. The username and password is admin. Admin. Okay. Go to the queue section. Currently we will see that there are no queues here. So in our, in our, in our application we will create a queue as and then send some data uh, to the queue. Now let's begin with the implementation. Go to your Eclipse and here create a Maven project. Create a simple project. Give the group ID, the artifact ID, and click finish. So Maven project will get created. Next we'll have to add some dependencies. The dependencies that we are going to require are some camel dependencies and some active MQ dependencies. For this I'll take reference of my website javainews.com. So here I have also I have explained this tutorial. So we'll go to pom.xml and we'll copy the dependencies that are required. So the dependencies are camel core, camel jms and the other dependencies they are active mq dependencies. We will build this. Next we will write the route builder class to configure the route. Open this class. This class should extend the route builder. Also, we should add the unimplemented methods. Inside this configure, we'll write our route. For the route, again, we'll take reference of the site. So here we will see that uh, we have written the route. What it does is it copies whatever are the contents uh, inside the C input folder, splits it on the basis of slash n that is a new line and then it sends it to the JMS Q component. Now this JMS Q component will define it later. For now just copy this route.
also here we have used this uh, splitter eip to split the file okay so now we'll have to write the main class in the main class we'll define the apache uh, using apache camel jms component will define this jms so we'll create the main class now we'll just copy the contents i'll explain this contents in a minute So what we have done here is we have created an ActiveMQ connection factory with the default uh, ActiveMQ URL. This ActiveMQ connection factory we have added to the JMS component, ActiveMQ uh, Apache Camel uh, JMS component and we have named it as JMS. So this is the only thing that we'll have to do. We'll have to add this uh, JMS component to the context. Now this we have named it as JMS and we have used this JMS here inside uh, the configure method here we have defined a jms colon q colon java in use so a q named java in use will get created we can also define a topic here if we want if we want a topic we'll just have to write jms colon topic colon uh, java in use so a topic named java in use will get created so let's build this application We have forgot one thing, uh, we'll have to check if there exists a C input folder and what are the contents inside it. So let's just check it once. Yeah, yeah, we have an input folder, but inside this there is no content currently. So what we'll do is, we'll create a file here. So currently uh, what our application will do is it will split this file based on the lines. So this will be there will be four mes messages in the queue as there are four lines in this file. Now let's start the application. We'll go to ActiveMQ and refresh it. So we'll see that uh, Java in use Q has been created. There are four messages inside it. So our application is running correctly. You can download the source code for this uh, tutorial from uh, the web, from my website. It's here. Hope you have understood this tutorial. Thanks.